could you take us to Stratford? You were there yeah. the first year, Richard the Third, all's well that ends well. Yeah. Give uh, us the, the, whole, the whole thing about that was, of course, it starts with me way back, because it really starts with uh, 1947 with the Edinburgh Festival, when we did the three estates, and Guthrie did an open stage production for the first time. That opened the door to for Guthrie. He he had he had come to a point in the theatre when he recognised the fact that the proscenium arch was preventing the plays from really getting to the audience, and were always creating a picture, not creating the characterisation necessary to involve the audience in the play. But they watched it because of the beginning of the of the screen, the the film that had taken that place. So. It was necessary for the theatre to find another way to go. We're at the same stage now, I think, in our lives in the theatre. I think we have to find another way to go. Uh, but essentially, that's what he wanted to do. And he discovered it when he was doing a, a Hamlet in Elsinore. They were supposed to play it in uh, on the castle, you know, outside in the castle walls and things. But it was a foul weather and poor rain. They moved it into the Great Hall, which he surrounded by candles, and suddenly, the play for him came alive like it never been because the actual characters became clear. You know, that was what they, the relationships between the people that mattered, not just the image of them standing or rating. Because they were taken out of the picture taken frame. Taken out of the picture frame and made to sort of pla really into sculpturesque figures. They were all round. You saw their backs as well as their faces and they had to turn and move to play the play. It gave a vitality to it that it hadn't had before. So he was never satisfied. Then he did the three estates that way. Then when he came to Canada, here was an opportunity to do just what he'd always wanted to do. I remember there was a production of Henry VIII he did at Stratford on Avon in Stratford around about 19, I guess it would have been, I'm not quite sure, but I imagine around about 1940, 49 or 50. I remember seeing it anyway. We pushed it all right down stage, and it was designed by Tanya Mazevich, and there was a set very much like oh, the set that we had at Stratford. It had the same sort of feeling about it. It wasn't architecturally the same. It had the same sort of feeling. He tried to bring the play right out into the audience's lap. Did he build an apron? Yes, he built an apron, and people came in from okay. the audience and climbed the stairs. And things so like it was that. a nascent. It was a nascent station. thing. It was there. He wanted to take it further, and so when he did, and uh, the opportunity came, he seized it. 